Hi, and welcome to the Global Education Group CME video blog, where we address emerging hot topics in the CME enterprise. Today, we're going to talk about the interface between CME and patient compliance and adherence to treatment. Compliance has been a big issue for a long time now, and an estimated 50% of patients drop long-term therapies or prescribed medications within the first year. And recent studies have shown that the average length of time a patient stays on a long-term statin prescription is actually just six to eight weeks. Well, a new study from the nonprofit Millennium Research Institute looks at an issue related to compliance and adherence. This issue is urine drug testing, UDT, with respect to opioid and other pain medications. And the study actually weighed costs and benefits of UDT among 260,000 patient IDs and made some interesting conclusions with respect to costs and benefits. Now on the cost side, uh, the average UDT cost, that is the cost of doing urine drug testing, ranged from about $400 to $2,200 per patient per year. So not an insignificant cost by any means. However, the benefits dramatically outweighed those costs. When you calculate lower work absenteeism, because folks aren't missing as much work if they're adhering to their drugs, um, health care savings, as well as patient benefits, when you calculate all that, the benefits from actually conducting these urine drug tests and keeping patients compliant and adherent on their prescription medications, um, those benefits range from $1,300 to $3,800. So when you look on the high end, the cost side is $2,200 but the benefit side is about $3,800 per patient. So UDT seems to be a tool that helps increase compliance as well as individual health care improvement and provides overall societal and economic benefits. So if you'd like to get a copy of that UDT study, you can either contact us here at Global or just go to millenniumresearchinstitute.org. So how can we use CME to help drive compliance and adherence? Well, here's three quick ideas. First, we can incorporate compliance tools, things like patient reminders or medication questionnaires, into our actual CME activities. Secondly, we could teach techniques to physicians to show them how they, they can discuss patient incentives and the personal benefits that come from compliance and adherence. Studies have shown that a 10 to 15 second statement from a physician can really impact a patient behavior but very few ph physicians explain why they are prescribing a certain medication or treatment approach. Last, we can set up a patient link alongside an online CME activity and give physicians office posters that provide this link and information to patients that are seeking out more advice or information about patient compliance. As always, if you have any questions related to the CME enterprise, or more specifically, patient compliance and adherence and how that interfaces with CME, feel free to contact us here at globaleducationgroup.com. For Global, I'm Stephen Lewis. Have a great day.